this is James Pelton, and a highly requested um, project is Alluvium, okay? And I actually, I recorded this AMA a while ago, and it's just taken me a long time to get it out, so I apologize uh, to the Alluvium team. Um, but I've, pe people have been asking me over and over and over again, please do a video and focus on Alluvium. So Alluvium is not like the other play to earn games that we've done a lot on the channel. Um, this is the first um, triple A crypto game. Okay, so it's going to compete with um, like big names in the space. They have a huge team that's working on this. They've been at work on it for a long time. The problem, triple A games take a very long time to build and crypto is newer, right? So it's just going to take a long time for games to start coming out or high quality games. Uh, but this is going to be the first. So they're way ahead of pretty much everything else. So, and I want to give you just a little bit of their trailer here just so you kind of get um, the feel of this game. Isn't it so exciting? If you're not a gamer, you're not a fan of gaming, then this might not be the video for you. But I'd still appreciate a like, but then, um, but you can see you can make money even not being a gamer, okay? Okay, well, we don't need to watch the whole trailer. But anyways, the point is that this is going to be a very high-quality game. I'll leave a link to the full trailer if you want to watch it. I, I gave a teaser for the teaser. Uh, teaserception, we might call it. Um, but anyways, this is going to be a play-to-earn game. It's got... Um, there's going to be like an open world, and there's also going to be like an auto battler, play to earn, wager on battles, etc., etc., etc. These alluvidars, alluvials, um, land, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how you can make money in this. Um, I do have an AMA with Andrew Awall from the Alluvium team, so I'm going to show you that. So the first thing you can do is if you would like to play the beta, you can actually register to be part of the beta and actually give it a try. Um, they have other games that they're uh, are going to be coming out soon also. If you want to make money off of this, so you don't even have to play it. You can make money just from investing in the game and other people playing and you kind of reap some of the benefits. Um, but the first thing you're going to need to do is buy some of the uh, ILV token, the Alluvium token. Um, so you can buy it. So they're available on Binance, um, KuCoin, etc. You can go to SushiSwap. They're on Ethereum. So again, in some ways, that's not ideal, but you can go trade for the ILV token on KuCoin, trade ILV for USDT and buy it right there. Um, then when you buy the token, you can stake it. So you just go to this staking.alluvium.io, and the easiest thing to, is if you go to these pools here, you have to connect your wallet, um, connect MetaMask, and they, they will give you some tutorials, but basically there's these two pools here. Um, there's an ILV pool, which is just a single staking, and it's got a lower, and you have to look at this, this is not necessarily a passive income play, okay? This is more like I'm investing in a long term. So when I think about like long term tokens that I want to generate wealth from, I think of like Bitcoin, DAG, XRP, which is Ripple, and something like Illuvium, okay? So if you uh, look around and you're like, man, this game is going to be the future, then again, you're going to get 22% APY with auto compa with compounding in there. Um, but this is where you're going to stake it. So you're going to buy that ILV token and you're going to stake in here. Okay. And then you choose how long you want to lock it up for. So, you know, you get a higher APR based on how long you lock up for. So it's kind of up to you. You know, how long do you want to? If you're thinking about, oh, I want to hold this for a year, you might as well lock it up for 12 months. I think that's what I did. Um, the other option, you get a higher APR with this uh, Illuvium Ethereum liquidity pool, but of course you run the risk of impermanent loss. If Illuvium takes off and Ethereum doesn't take off as much, you're not going to get the benefit as much um, because you're going to have to stay balanced. So uh, we've talked about that. So that's one way you can get involved in is these, this ILV pool. Um, so you can buy the token and then stick in here. So another big way that you can get involved if you would like to is going to be this uh, land sale that's coming up. So you go to this land page and just enter your email, hop in their Discord so you don't miss the land sale. 
Um, but this land is going to be a big part of what happens in Alluvium. And we're going to talk a little bit about it in the AMA where he'll get more details. Um, you can watch this video too. It explains a little better. Um, there's different tiers of land. Um, and some of this land you can even, it's going to be like in the Alluvium world and you can rent it out and put shops on it and you get a percentage of the revenue, things like that. They're even going to have these level five tiers and these are going to not be, these are going to be for whales, okay, this, this uh, tier five land. Um, but these are going to have like arenas for the big battles and, you know, people have to, I don't exactly know all the details of how it's going to work. If people have to, you can put advertising on your arena um, and things like that. Um, but keep your eyes open because if you uh, like this, you want to be really involved. You know, the easiest thing is just stake, uh, buy the token, stake the token. I know a lot, they're going to be using a profit from their games to go towards the Alluvium token and towards stakers. Um, but if you want to get more involved, then you can uh, hop in for this land sale. So I think that's enough of me talking. Um, again, Andrew from Illuvium can kind of explain things better. So here's my AMA with Andrew from Illuvium. Well, this is James Pelton. I am here with Andrew Wall or online AWOL um, from the Illuvium team. And uh, this is one I'm really excited about. I've been following Alluvium back before I was even an influencer. Before I started YouTube, Alluvium was one that I was keeping my eyes on. I've been a staker since they were one of the first crypto projects that I uh, started staking because I was like, hey, this is going to be big someday. Um, and so I was actually really excited. Someone from your team reached out and I was like, man, this is like meant to be. It's like my original crypto <laughs> uh, investment reaching out to me. So thank you, Andrew, for being here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Absolutely. And you mentioned staking right before we're recording this interview, literally minutes before I hit the red button and we launched staking V2, our upgrade to our staking dashboard, uh, which makes it more gas efficient and easier to use. And so uh, it's really exciting that we're, that you even brought up staking because today's a big milestone for us where we're getting closer to uh, having our staking dashboard be easier for the average person to use and understand and uh, to be able to interact with Alluvium um, as a normal person, not just a necessarily a crypto degen. <laughs> so right. uh, it's exciting. But would you want to just kind of in an elevator pitch real quick snippet, talk about what Alluvium is and kind of what it hopes to be? Sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, so Alluvium in a nutshell is the first AAA video game in the crypto market, in the GameFi market ever. And we are going to be years, probably plural years ahead of anyone else that is planning to create a AAA video game and have it be in the crypto and NFT space. Um, so what is the actual video game? So there are two key parts to our main game. We've got this kind of wild, fantastical open world experience where you can traverse this world, you can go collect resources, and it's um, interesting kind of exploration sort of looter mechanics where you're going to be looting that open world. Then you're going to see what are essentially these instances, these portals, if you will, on the screen. And you can enter those and then go into our second experience in Alluvium, which is our auto battler. And for those of you that aren't familiar with auto battlers already, Team Fight Tactics, TFT, is an auto battler where you place, and in our case, Illuvials onto the board and you strategically select them based on their synergies with each other uh, and the opposing team. You wanna counter the opposing team of alluvials with your team of alluvials, and then you click the battle button, and then they fight each other to the death, essentially on the battle board. And if you win, um, you can get various prizes, you can climb up the ladder, you can uh, collect additional alluvials and all sorts of rewards and um, results can occur from those auto battler matches. So the gameplay loop is you go out in the open world and it looks gorgeous and fantastical. You loot everything. And then when you're ready, you jump into the auto battler and fight your alluvials to the death versus the enemy team and uh, reap the rewards. And you just do that over and over again. It gives a lot of variety to the gameplay and it gives players uh, an experience that isn't just grinding an auto battler over and over again and also not just jumping around and collecting resources over and over again. We have a little bit of something for everyone with this gameplay loop. 
That is awesome. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really excited because up to this point, I, one of my passions is to bring non-crypto people into the crypto space. And I think gaming is a great way to do that. Um, but up to this point, a AAA game takes a long time to build. And up to this point, we've had these games that have come out really quickly, but they've not been good. They've not been fun. And so non-crypto people try them maybe. And they're like, well, that's not, that doesn't yeah. compare to Oblivion or, you know, my, my non-crypto games. And uh, one thing I noticed about you guys is you got a, a head start on everyone else. You kind of took the risk. I feel like you started on this before. It was obvious this is the direction everything was going to go. And uh, now you guys are just ahead of the curve where these other AAA, they're starting to try to catch up, but it's going to be a while before they're able to get to the point where you are. So I kind of consider you the, the Tesla of the crypto gaming space. I will take that. I'm happy to be the Tesla of this space. It, you're right. Um, a lot of people get excited about single A or kind of like, let's say, double A games in this space which pretty much, which literally everything in the space right now is single A or double A. It's like indie game style at best. And some of those games have become very popular because of the crypto and NFT elements and the play to earn elements. However, long-term, what we've learned from legacy gaming is that indie games, double A and single A games, almost never become popular and get mass adoption. There's some exceptions here and there, but they almost never do. The games that get massively popular with millions of concurrent players and mass market adoption are the AAA games. And the same thing is going to be the case here in the GameFi space and the crypto gaming space. And so that's the massive advantage that I feel Alluvium has right now is we're not just talking about making a AAA game. We've literally already released gameplay of our auto battler on our channel, raw gameplay recorded in this studio. You can just watch it and actually tomorrow at the time that we're recording this interview, we're going to do live gameplay with our co-founders literally playing the game live for you. You can just see mm. the AAA on the screen. Contrast that with any other players in the space that are talking about maybe making a AAA game in the future. We already have a game that you can play right now, and we're moving into our private beta right now. That's how far ahead we are. This isn't some vision in a trailer somewhere, we literally have a AAA game that can be played right now. And so I think that that puts us at minimum two years, plural, ahead of anyone else. Traditional gaming players, crypto gaming players, on them being able to bring any AAA games to market. And so, yes, that's a competitive advantage, but it's also a big responsibility for us at Alluvium to not screw this up. <laughs> Uh, because right. I think a lot of people are looking at us to be the game to prove that crypto gaming, that NFT gaming can be as good as we all hope, right? And so we're taking that responsibility very seriously. And we're going to make sure that we um, make sure every product we launch and every game that we launch is up to that AAA bar we've been promising. Cool. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. Can, can you talk about where the Alluvium team came from before? Um, like, where, where's the experience? Like, where did they come from before they started on this project? Got it. That, yeah, absolutely. So there's, uh, there's a lot of people working for Alluvium right now. I think it's over 150 core contributors full time right now in the game studio. Um, so depends on who we're referring to. So we have developers on the team that are coming from traditional legacy gaming players like Blizzard Entertainment, Activision, those types of areas. We've got people, our co-founders, that are like serial entrepreneurs and crypto degens, and they're coming to this space with that sort of startup and entrepreneurial background. We've got a co-founder, for example, Art Grant Warwick, who's making all of our like incredible visuals and aesthetic, who has like a deep career background of doing like movie trailers and triple a um you know graphics and video and then we have people here on the marketing team that like me that have a background in doing influencer marketing gaming live streaming and content creation for the last 12 years and per like personally i built the biggest gaming video network of all time on youtube so we've got people from all of these different backgrounds from the startup space the crypto degen space traditional gaming 
uh, new media marketing, like in my case, all coming together in this DAO, which is decentralized autonomous organization. I hate that term, but we're all coming together globally um, to collaborate on this project. People, I mean, we've got people in the United States, in Europe, in Australia, in Southeast Asia, literally every time zone um, collaborating on this from every background. And when we hire, we're looking to hire people that can thrive in like a really fast paced startup environment because we're running so fast to get this AAA game, this first one to market. And so we're willing to hire the all-stars of the legacy versions of everything we're building today to help us move it into the new version of what we're making today, the new finance system, the new gaming industry, the new marketing platforms, et cetera. So as it stands right now, Illuvium has a pretty much an all-star team. And that's because traditional tech players and legacy gaming players and Facebook and Microsoft and Blizzard are having an extremely difficult time hiring anyone that's any good anymore because all of the best talent and the smartest people are flooding out of legacy tech, legacy games and legacy social media. And they're all moving into crypto and they're all moving into GameFi and into this space. And so the amount of talent available to choose from it's like all the best talent <laughs> because all the smartest people realized this is the future. Why am I going to go work for a legacy tech company like Microsoft? Right. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard for those companies to pivot. You know, this is kind of just how each disruption in the market that we kind of see this happen where a lot of the legacy players kind of start to fall off while we move on to the next thing. And I think you're right. Crypto is the, it's the next wave for sure. Um, can you talk about some dates? I know one, one struggle I often have on the channel is people come out with, hey, we're going to be doing this, 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 and this, but it's kind of like, well, when is some of this going to happen? So you mentioned there's a playable beta available. When can like my audience, when is there something that they can play? And then when are you guys expecting, again, I'm not looking for exact dates, but uh, when is, the, is there going to be like a game available? Got it. I can do you one even better. So what we're doing right now, so we get this question all the time, when, W-E-N, in my feed, like two trillion times per day. <laughs> and so uh, the best answer to the question when is what we're putting together right now. So I just reviewed the draft of it last night. We are creating a publicly available timeline, not an art graphic, not some pre-made marketing thing. It's literally in Jira, our project management software, you'll be able to literally directly look at our internal timeline on mm. everything that we're actually working off of for every product that we're going to be launching in oh, the future. That's awesome. So, and we're going to put that on our website. So the, so the draft version of that is um, being created right now. And, and that's going to be on our site. So you can look in real time. Um, you know, it's either going to be now soon or later format, or it's going to be like Q2, Q3, Q4 format. We're going to figure it out but you'll see every upcoming launch there of every product. And when we are, we are planning, not when we're saying, but when we are planning it on it being ready at that time internally as core contributors. And so that's like, I think that's going to be the ultimate question of when you'll literally see what I'm looking at every day and the deadline I'm hitting and every team member is trying to hit. So to give you an idea of what's coming up, we just dropped staking V2, which is what, unlocks our ability to do the next product. So by having the staking dashboard in place and the security upgrades along with that, now we can do our land sale, we can do Illuvatars, and then we can do this open beta that we're planning on rolling out uh, so that anyone can just jump in and play our game. And then obviously that leads up to the main game launch. And in the mix throughout that period of time, all the way through, private beta is going on with testing in the background with us refining our game. We, I can't say the exact same, the exact number publicly, but we got a like video game level numbers of registrations for our private beta. <laughs> so we're going to start that with the small number of players. Uh, and then that's going to grow, 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 grow. And what we're considering internally is uh, maybe even doing an early, you can play like almost like a demo almost. You remember when video games used to have demos and you could like actually play the game before you yeah. bought it, that kind of thing? Yep. Doing like a demo of our auto battler for people to check out 
prior to launch as well. So all of that timeline, all those things, if you don't understand what any of those mean, will be, will be available on our website with our publicly available timeline. So you'll see precisely when all of that stuff is dropping and when we're planning on dropping it. And if the date moves, if we move the date internally, you don't have to wait for us to announce it. It'll just literally be there for you to see. And I like that level of transparency with a project. So you don't, so you don't have to wonder whether they're hiding something or whether there's problems or something. You can just see what they're planning on doing and when everything's going to drop. Yeah, no, I really like that because I think people don't, I was a software developer for a number of years and I think people don't realize that they think, yeah, that you're hiding it. Like, you know, when it's going to launch and you just don't want to tell anybody, but the reality is, I mean, you're doing it as fast as you can, but it's a work in progress and you, like, you don't really know when it's going to be complete and ready to go. You're shooting for this state and this state, but um, I understand that completely. So I think that's a great way to do it. I've never heard of another company doing that, but I think that's a, that's a good way to do it. It'll, it'll probably uh, slow down the when questions, I'm guessing. I don't, you know, it's pros and cons, right? So we, you know, we could say, hey, here's when, and then they'll be like, hold on, you moved you know, Iluvatars to this date versus that date, be like, yep, there it is. And yeah. you know, that's, that's, yep. that's reality. Uh, so yeah, I'm not aware of anyone else doing exactly this. And for me, this double down, this doubles down on my um, marketing philosophy. Um, as the head of marketing, everything I'm doing for marketing for Alluvium is all about showing the actual product, showing the actual gameplay telling you the actual timelines, giving you as much access as possible to the actual core contributors working on the game. And then it's all about honest viewpoints. It's all about facts. And it's all about real information on what's happening with Alluvium, not marketing fluff, not graphical representations of what something might be like, which you see a lot in the crypto space. I think it's really important to show people what's real to build trust and to maintain trust as a brand in this space, because there's so many rugs out there. There's so many overhyped projects and there's so many trailers that look great, but you haven't seen gameplay, real gameplay for years. Um, I think maybe my last question is like for people who want to get involved. So people who watch this, now they're excited about Alluvium. Um, they want to make money off of it. They're convinced that this is going to be big. Um, how, what would you tell them is the best way to get involved and uh, be part of Alluvium's success? Got it. Yeah, it's really easy. So number one, um, if you want to uh, be notified of when we do things like open betas or we have major product launches, the easiest way to do that is to register on our website, alluvium.io, provide your email and you'll get that emailed to you. The community primarily is on our Discord server. We have hundreds of thousands of people on our Discord. At this point, I think we have close to 90,000 people online at all times. It's bustling with activity. So if you want to be talking to people that are de for anywhere from degen traders to just gaming enthusiasts to NFT heads, whatever it is, our Discord server, all of those discussions are happening there. And the last item is if you don't want to enter any communities or give any emails, the easiest way to just understand what's going on at Alluvium and to get a deeper insight into it is to go to our YouTube channel. I'm hosting a show called Illuvium Insider, and you can just watch in-depth interviews, kind of like this one, with our co-founders or with influencers talking about our tokenomics, talking about the game, talking about the art. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier in the interview, we're gonna literally do a live gameplay battle with live tutorials of uh, Illuvium. And so there, you can just passively watch and learn about Alluvium if you're still kind of tiptoeing around and before you want to dive straight into the pool here with us. All right. And then what about people who want to dive into the pool? What's the best way? What's the best way to make money? I kind of have a passive income audience, so they're, they're looking for money. Uh, what's the best way to be part of Alluvium's success financially? I understand. So what you're going to want to do then is go straight to researching uh, our staking protocol and staking V2 what, that we just dropped. And so that's where, you know, things like passive income, that's where revenue distribution, that's where yield is occurring is through that staking dashboard. And so just in a nutshell, 
if, if you decide after doing research, not financial advice to buy ILV tokens, then what you can do is connect it to our, our dashboard and then you can choose one of two pools to stake in. So if you stake ILV tokens in our core pool, you can select the duration of your stake. And then obviously, generally speaking, the longer the duration, the more the yield, the APY yield is, passive income, on staking that token. Then the second option is uh, basically putting together a sushi swap liquidity pool token, which is a combination of ILV and ETH. And if you want to do a liquidity provider token, then you can stake in our liquidity pool. And that pool, generally speaking, has a significantly higher APY than our core pool, but there are additional risks involved with providing liquidity as your audience may be aware. And so those are the two kind of, let's call them passive income opportunities at the moment. But wait, there's more. So what's unique about Alluvium from a passive income standpoint uh, is not only this yield that you can get from staking if you choose to do that, but this might sound wild. We've got an entire one hour interview with Kieran explaining all of these tokenomics, but 100% of the proceeds of Alluvium's economy, whether that's our mobile game, Alluvium Zero, whether that's our main Alluvium game, whether that's merchandise, esports, Netflix show, whatever it may be with Alluvium, 100% of the proceeds of those are go back into the DAO vault and are distributed back to ILV stakers. So what, wow. what, like, let me just say that in kind of simple terms. You've heard of things like profit sharing in companies. You've heard of things like dividends in stocks, those types of things. But in our case, it's like those things, but, uh, in, but to the most extreme level where people that are staking their ILV tokens literally get, let's call it all of the, let's call it profits in air quotes and kind of proceeds from all economic activity in Alluvium games and all future games. So that, that might sound wild. That might sound unbelievable. Why would somebody ever do that? And the reason why people uh, would maybe question that, that sounds kind of unbelievable. And by the way, it's all built into the protocol. So it doesn't matter what I say, just go look at the Illuvium protocol. It's in the freaking blockchain. So the reason uh, it seems unbelievable is that traditional gaming companies, EA, you know, Bethesda, Microsoft and everybody, they take the proceeds of their games and all of those profits go to the executives. They go to the shareholders, the private investors, and then some of it goes back to the stockholders on the stock market, right? Like a minority portion, right? Goes back to those folks. And we're used to gaming companies and gaming studios basically absorbing all of the financial benefit of them making products and taking that for themselves. And the players get nothing unless they bought the stock, let's say. In the case of Alluvium, we flip that entire model completely on its head, where there is no company to take the profits. There are no executives to get mega bonuses or something in this case. It's all completely decentralized. People that have ILV tokens and are staked receive all of the financial benefit of our economy, which completely flips 180 the way that we're approaching how uh, rewards and benefits should be distributed with a video game. And that's, a, I think that's one of the most revolutionary things about Alluvium in particular. A lot of other crypto games are not doing this. And they're maybe thinking about taking on profits in the normal traditional company way. And we've gone the complete different direction with it. And so once again, I did a full interview explaining all of this with Kieran Warwick, who was kind of, let's call it the chief architect of these tokenomics. And it will break down piece by piece and step by step how if you buy Alluvium tokens and you stake them, how the yield comes out of that and where that money comes from, passive income, and where the de revenue distributions, which is additional passive income, is on top of that as well. And so this is exciting. 
This is new and it's revolutionary from a passive income standpoint. Yeah, no, that's very cool. And I want my audience to understand that this is not a, this is not like a, a lot of the degen plays that we do. Like you're not going to jump in here and, you know, two X in the next few days. Like that's not the way that this is. No, this is a long-term investment where you're betting on the success of the game and the game's not out yet. So you have to understand, like you might put in money now and you won't see the returns for a while, but this is not a degen play. This is an investment play. And again, not financial advice. I call it financial nudging. I think that's okay <laughs> legally. Maybe I should probably ask a lawyer. It's just uh, education, right? Yeah. Like, you know, you can talk about what you're doing. You can explain what it is, but everybody is smart. Everybody watching this right now is smart enough to know that this is not personalized financial advice. And we're just doing an interview to share information, right? Yeah, exactly. So, but this is real wealth is built through long-term investments like this. I'll say that as a general, um, it's not through the, the degen plays that I usually have on my channel where it's like, Hey, here, you can make a quick buck. This is a long-term investment in a solid product. Um, could you, if you would like to, could you talk a little bit about the land sale that's coming up? Absolutely. Yeah. So actually my background on my computer here is a picture of our land. Uh, so the, uh, the upcoming land sale is really exciting. That's what staking V2 unlocked was having um, all the rewards and everything active uh, so that we can move forward with land sale. And with our land sale, here's here it is in a nutshell. And I've got a full blown marketing campaign around this that's gonna, with an explainer video, an in-depth article, in-depth interviews, like follow Alluvium's avenues, we're gonna explain everything. But here's the gist of how our land works and what, how it is different than, and I guess you could call it a, a pass, another passive income play. Let me explain. So our land is some of the first, if not the very first metaverse land that just makes money after you buy it. So what do I mean by that? So we've designed a mobile game called Illuvium Zero, also playable on desktop. Let's call it a companion game. And if you buy Illuvium land, you can buy multiple pieces if you want. You plug those land NFTs into the mobile game or the companion game, doom, 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 slot them in. And there is a town builder game that you use to play that land as a game. And so what do I mean? You build buildings on it, you harvest resources on it, you can scan for uh, blueprints, which are NFTs. And most importantly, that land, if you decide to buy land, generates fuel. So why is fuel important? Fuel is what is required to do most activities, let's say, within Alluvium, the main game. So as you're harvesting fuel on your land, you are literally harvesting something that's worth real money, essentially, to players that want to use that fuel to do activities in our games. And so you can decide when you harvest the fuel using the mobile game and you're like building little buildings and upgrading them and all of that like kind of cool town builder, sci-fi town builder, like think like Starcraft-ish type of look. As you're doing all of that, you can decide to hold on to that fuel yourself and use it for yourself to play Alluvium games. Or you can decide to sell that fuel on the Alluvidex for cash, essentially, like for, you could sell it for ETH. And you can, so you can either decide to extract all the value from the land, I guess is what we're trying to say, and just sell it for, let's call it passive income. I mean, you still have to click the buttons on the game and play it, <laughs> but it's, let's, let's call it maybe semi-passive income, or you can decide to use it yourself. And so, that's the basic concept there. And with our land, we've got tier, it goes from tier zero to tier five. Let me just quickly explain the difference. Tier zero is free land. So anyone can play the game, the land game, build a town and have fun, tier zero, but it won't give you anything that's worth any real money out of it. You can just play the fun game. Once you move up to tier one, two, three, and four land, the number of fuel sites increases. The sort of, uh, let's call it for simple terms, the boosters on your land increases as you move up the tiers as well in terms of how much fuel you can generate from your land as you move from tier one, two, three, and four. So as you move up the tiers, your land will generate more resources, more fuel, and thus 
yield more potential income, if you will, from the fuel that you could either sell or use. But wait, there's more. So we have tier five land, which is the truly revolutionary thing that we're doing that no one else has ever done. And this will be sold in a private sale. We're currently planning on doing like a live auction of it actually. And uh, basically the tier five land not only yields a ton of fuel and, and, and what have you from the game, but it will have a, an arena in it that is an uh, eSports arena. And you, as a landowner of T5 land, Tier 5 land, can monetize that arena any way that you see fit. And we will be hosting Illuvium eSports events in the future in Tier 5 land. So if you wanted to, uh, you could... Um, you know, uh, have put a sponsor on the side of your arena, multiple sponsors. You could, we could go get Verizon or whoever wants to advertise on your arena and you make the income from those sponsorships as the tier five landowner, just as an example. And you would potentially make the proceeds of that esports event and revenues generated from it that are being hosted on your land, et cetera. And so tier five land is on like a whole nother level. This is like a, and we have, insane interest from like ultra whales that are want to come in and bid on this stuff folks that have you know uh seven figures to drop on metaverse plays and that type of thing and so we're going to be privately selling that to qualified investors let's call it in air quotes uh, namely because we want real bidders that are serious about that land uh, to hop in there and so with all of this land stuff i'm telling you and all of this passive income stuff we've been talking about What's wild about it is that everything I'm saying right now is subject to change. Why? Because no individual person is in charge of Alluvium. It's completely decentralized. And so we have a council that is elected every quarter and they vote on IIPs. And so those IIPs that they approve or not determine whether all these things I just told you about land will happen. And so the people get elected democratically and decentralized in a decentralized way on the council. And the people vote on whether that T5 land does all the things I just said and all the other land that I just mentioned does everything I said, and they can change anything about it they want. And so that's what's so wild about DAOs and so wild about Alluvium is that this project, the decision-making is totally decentralized and democratic, and it makes all of this super interesting. So that's, the, that's, that's what's happening with land. And so before land drops, the reason why I told you about the council thing and the decentralized thing is there has to be an IIP that's voted on related to land that finalizes, let's say, the economics and functionality of all the land before it drops. Doesn't matter what I think. Doesn't matter what the co-founders think. It matters what the people think that elected council members. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's Like normal crazy. companies have a board of directors and a president and a CEO of EA and whatever, and they say, this is what happens. At Alluvium, the people decide. It's wild. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that's that's very exciting. So I'm, this is one, in the, in the crypto gaming space, this is probably my number one play. Um, and in all of crypto, this is up there as one of my top five long-term plays, just so everyone knows. So kind of, well, and I'll explain this to my audience. But what I do is I use the DGEN plays to start putting money into the long-term projects that I think, hey, this is going to be real wealth building in Alluvium. I would consider one of those. So, um, but thank you. That's all the questions that I have. I think my audience will really like this. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to coming back on your channel in the future. All right, thanks. All right, I hope that was uh, enjoyable for you just hearing from Andrew. Again, I would consider this a uh, long-term play. So I would consider this probably one of my like blue chip plays, long-term plays. So my plan is to not do too many of these long AMAs. I'm trying to keep it, you know, switch it up and I'll do some of my blueprints, some short videos of just me talking, some of these long AMAs, but just to, you know, like to keep it spicy. So, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys, appreciate your support and hope you all have a great rest of your day.